it's clearly one of the most important things for, for longevity is to maintain good sleep patterns. And you can get away with less sleep if you sleep deeply. Uh, but it's been shown very clearly both in animal studies and in humans that people who have lack, lack of sleep tend, tend to develop chronic diseases, including dementia, um, earlier. One of the things that struck, struck me was a 2022 study, a recent one, that having sleep apnea, which I think I suffer from a little bit, is uh, the loss of the uh, ability to breathe correctly during sleep, and it disrupts your sleep. It actually, some of these people on average um, developed all sorts of uh, issues with their brain. They had increased markers for Alzheimer's disease. And this is uh, one of the problems. If you don't eat the right foods and you don't get enough sleep, together you, your nerves just end up not growing and forming memories. And then you get inflammation in your brain. So there's a, a protein that goes up with aging um, that's really uh, important that um, the IBA1, it's called, and we can stain that in the brain and we see it go up. And lack of sleep and also just chronic stress leads to increases in that. Um, and so you want to keep your stress levels down, mental stress. And we also now know that the brain is definitely controlling the body's immune system. And so you can lose your immunity as well if your brain is is not relaxed and getting enough sleep. What we've discovered as scientists over the years is that there are proteins that, that go up with aging and are markers of inflammation. IBA1 is, is just one that we use. One that's particularly bad for you is amyloid beta, beta, which is a protein that when it's cut into certain sizes, it will become insoluble. That accumulates both inside cells and outside of cells, and outside neurons. Uh, and Alzheimer's patients have a lot of what are these called, what are called plaques in the brain. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a number of drugs that are, are aimed at getting rid of those plaques, uh, antibodies that bind to them. And there are cells in the brain that move around that actually eat up those uh, those proteins, but they don't do a very good job as we get older. And one of the, the things that people are trying to do to cure or at least treat Alzheimer's is to target those proteins. Uh, but what you want to do really that's easier is to prevent them from forming in the first place. And uh, one of the enzymes that we work on called SIRT1, one of the SIRT2ones, is very good at, at preventing the buildup of beta amyloid in the brain. And so that's why exercise, uh, eating a little less often, as well as taking supplements like I do, NMN, uh, I believe are very good ways at slowing down the accumulation of these little protein fragments that can crystallize uh, and actually become insoluble and disrupt neurons. It's like trying to clean out um, the trash after it's accumulated, whereas you know, if you do recycling throughout most of uh, the week, it's a lot easier to take out the trash at the end of the day. Uh, well. One thing that most people don't know about me is that through most of my 20s and 30s, I had uh, extremely difficult um, um, sleep patterns. I was, I basically was approaching dep depression because I wasn't sleeping enough and I had to figure out ways to fix it. And so, like I say, with my diet, um, I'm pretty lazy when it comes to doing things. So if I can fix my sleep patterns, I think pretty much anybody can. And I started to do a few things that worked for me, and I've now got this whole program, which I'll tell you about now. Um, so I start with trying to be calm at the end of the night. I don't watch TV late at night, and I try my best not to look at screens, though it's increasingly difficult. And I turn down the blue light in my screen. Um, I wear some blue light blocking glasses uh, most nights, unless I'm you know, being sociable and I don't want to look like too much of a nerd. But I find that that really does help with my eye strain as well. I try to, to just read meditation and do that just before sleep. And often that puts me to sleep. Uh, and so that's working. Um, I also take some supplements. I take uh, GABA, GABA, and L-theanine and magnesium. And that combination is typically enough. I have a warm drink. Sometimes I have a shower these days. I, I like that more and more. And that just puts me in a very calm state. Uh, I reduce the temperature of my bed. I have a bed that we, that you can control the temperature. Um, and being a little cooler is very good. And particularly during the night when it's cool, I sleep. Most people sleep more deeply. Those are the those are the main hacks. If I can't get to sleep, I have just melatonin uh, and even Ambien. But I don't take those um, very often unless I absolutely need to get to sleep.